Hi there, Eve here from Vitamin Eve Nutrition Counseling. And today I'm gonna to talk about how long it takes to heal your eating issue. How long does it take to become an intuitive eater? So I'm gonna jump right in. And before I share this, first of all, if you like this channel, I invite you to subscribe. And second of all, I wanna first define what you know intuitive eating is, healing your relationship with food. What does it really mean? And so I have a definition I really love right here by Carolyn Costin. And to start this video off, I'm gonna read that to you. So according to Carolyn, um, being recovered to me is when a person can accept their natural body size and shape and no longer has a self-destructive or unnatural relationship with food or exercise. When you are recovered, food and weight take a proper perspective in your life and what you weigh is not more important than who you are. In fact, actual numbers are of little or no importance at all. When recovered, you will not compromise your health or betray your soul to look a certain way, wear a certain size, or reach a certain number on this scale. Ah, I absolutely love that. So let's talk about the factors that could really impact how long it takes to heal from your eating issue because the answer is, by the way, there is no timeline. We all have our own personal timeline and it really depends. And I wanna share the factors that play a big role in how long it takes to heal from an eating issue. And one is your environment. Look, if you wanna learn a new language, the best way to do that is to go to the country where they speak that language. Same thing is true when healing your relationship with food. Being around other people who are calorie counting, obsessing about body, over-exercising, and all these things makes it really hard to heal your relationship with food. And now many of our developed countries are really having this message of, you know, exercise all you can, look a certain way, and all of that. So it can make it really hard. Another factor that plays a role in how long it takes to heal from your eating issue is the support around you. So whether it's the support of your family or friends, or um, you could, you know, a counselor, a, a dietitian like me, a coach, or if you have pets, being in nature, art, or having hobbies, all these are different ways that you could have a support system. A combination of these things can really make a difference in how long it takes for you to heal your eating disorder. The impact of trauma on your life. So not only the trauma that you sustain in your life, that definitely has an impact on how long it takes to heal your relationship with food, but how it's impacted you personally. In my experience, um, the predisposition that we have also has an impact. So those of us who struggle with eating issues, oftentimes we're more sensitive, intuitive, um, we just see things differently, and oftentimes that has an impact on how long it takes to heal your eating. Also, the longer you've been struggling, the more ingrained the habits, the behaviors, the beliefs are, and that could impact how long it takes to heal from your eating issue. Also, having the resources to help yourself. So if you could read books on the subject, that, that could definitely make a difference. If you have access to, to the internet, so you could watch a video like this or follow my channel, that makes a difference. If you could access, access support groups, um, hire a dietitian or a coach or a counselor to help, all of these speed along your healing. Also, um, the implementation of the strategies that you learn. So it's not just about learning the strategies, that's a big part of it, but it's also your able ability to implement this. And some of this has to do with what's going on in your life. You know, how much time and energy do you really have to dedicate to healing your relationship with food? And finally, the last point is your motivation and willingness to recover. Because, you know, healing your relationship with with food takes a commitment of your resources, your energy, your time, your finances. And so it's those people who are really committed to be free once and for all that really achieve and get to experience that healed, easy, flowy, free relationship with food. And I pray for that for everybody who's watching this channel. So I hope what you got from this video is that healing your relationship with food is an individual process and it really depends on a lot of factors on how long it's gonna take. Another thing I hope you got from this video is that it's, all these factors are not necessarily all under your control. So being kind and gentle with yourself as you move towards having a more healed relationship with food is certainly key because no amount of self-help could take the place of self-love. So I hope this video was helpful with, for you. Comment below on anything I missed or what resonated with you the most. And if you haven't done so already, I invite you to subscribe to this channel and I hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching everybody. Bye.